What's up StarCraft fans, you're watching a co-op mutation, I am CTG, and today we are doing the ultimate price on lock and load. I am playing this time as uh, Phoenix, Akondelar. I have chosen Akondelar because I actually want to uh, uh, use Phoenix abilities more frequently and uh, not really worry about any units mostly. I'll just mostly do Phoenix and nothing else. I don't have any masteries right now because I'm level 6, because my ally, our master, has demanded, ordered me to play on the Asia server. How dare he? <laughs> Just kidding. He is actually on the line playing as Kerrigan today. So thank you to Bean Veteran, Carrion Queen, and Darth, Lixnix, and Shadow Archon who are supporting me, the Pulse Cannon tier. And thank you to all my supporters on Patreon. Our master, how are you today? I'm doing fine. Fine, that makes one of us. I've been doing terribly. <laughs> I woke up well, I woke up at 4 a.m. I tried to start the stream. It was like disconnect again every minute. Literally, you wouldn't believe it. Can you guess how many times I disconnected in the first hour? 12 times? 15. <laughs> Once every 4 minutes. Yikers. Anyway, we'll have 3 mutators today. Microtransactions. Every command costs money. So that's going to be expensive for commanders who are going to opt for um, macro-based commanders. That's not me. I'll also have missile command to deal with. Missiles will fly from the edge of the map to our buildings and they will deal damage. So the more, uh, the later on, the later on the game goes, the more missiles and the stronger missiles will spawn. So they will deal more damage to our buildings. And we will have middle yes. shield. Actually, uh, just I want to tag one more thing but because missile command is active you kind of want to clear this mission as quickly as possible that is the plan very good plan by l master uh finally we'll also have mineral shields which will also kind of uh factor into this like mineral shields the longer the game goes the more our resources will be blocked so that is actually also a thing we want to do like shorten the map to shorten the effect of the mutators as much as possible the triple m mutators as i like to call it I do like to call it that. Um, Triple M. What is your build, Owlmaster? Do you have any specific thing in mind? Um, I usually, the way I do it is I put down two, two drones, Overlord. As soon as the Overlord pops out, take my gas and saturate my gases. Um, that oh. usually gets me enough. Yeah, that usually gets me enough gas uh, to go up to a lair and get brush my mega worms out. If. Although, do you get any? Do you get any drones after uh, the first overlord, or do you go right right into uh, extractors as soon as the first overlord emerges? Because uh, as soon as the first overlord emerges, double extractor. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna change my build though here a little bit because we have missile command, and yeah. I do not want to lose the game because we lost our only structure. <laughs> that's gonna be hilarious, but uh, that's that's curious though. Like if you are not gonna wait for extra drones before making extractors. Why even wait for the first Overlord to emerge? Is it just kind of a habit that you have? Like, uh, it's yeah. your build? It, it actually helps with the timing a little bit. Because ah. there are like very easy moments. It's like, okay, the Overlord pops out, build it like my extractors now. Oh look, extractors are done, saturate the extractor. Very, that makes, like, very easy points. That makes a lot of sense, actually. It's not very intuitive, but like, Starcraft players like like having uh, having cues to uh, signal their ne the next part of their build. It actually makes a ton of sense to not yeah, just. The other uh, thing to realize as well, right, is like you and I, we both are like generalists. We play every commander, every map, so you can't memorize a particular build for a particular commander. You can't. Like, it's very difficult to fine tune and memorize all the fine tune builds. That's absolutely true. Especially when you consider we have 18 commanders to play and each of those commanders has four versions So that's we essentially have to memorize 72 builds <laughs> Which is nuts. I'm not memorizing 72 builds. I just want to have a simplistic style of uh, Playing I'm not I, I doubt even I doubt even master level players in 1v1 have 72 builds that they can name and execute properly Maybe 10, maybe 10, but not 72. <laughs> yeah, 
if you're you know if you're specializing in a certain commander, then you know, by all means go and you know, fine tune a particular build. I thought you were gonna say if you're a special child. I'm like, <laughs> well, slow down there, buddy. <laughs> all right. So uh, Akundar is out. Mr. Phoenix. I quite enjoyed our uh, our. Oh, by the way, it's uh, Ground Zerg. That's pretty good. This is good. This is uh, Phoenix Navidad. Which reminded me of our uh, mutation run on the holiday mutation. That was pretty fun, wasn't it? <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna stand here and start capturing this area. I'll have a, I'll have a thing there in just a bit. Oh. Okay, yeah. going back. Okay, send Kaldi here. Okay. Oh wow, stupid Kaldi. Alright. Cooldown is quite long. Oh, there we go. Nice. Alright. I'll just make more of these things. These are pretty good to have. Stupid Kaldalis, stop attacking random stuff. Oh nice, you've already cleared out that section of the map. Nice, good job. Alright, I'll send out one thing here. I'll let Kaldi... I'll do... I'll let him do that. I'll also... Uh, start moving Phoenix here. Okay. So I'm gonna push in from the northern side here. All right. I'm gonna push from the uh, inside. I'll clean out the okay, attack wave first. Can you send your rage a lot to kill us? Uh, Just kill us. something. Okay. Let yeah. me. Okay. No, no, no. Kill this thing. All right, there we go. All right, I'm heading over here. You can use your mega orb anytime. Oh. Yeah, are you having the Mega Worm ready? Uh, not yet. It's, it's in a bit. Ooh. You, you gotta. I use my Mega Worm. Okay, well, it's gonna despawn in like a second. Alright. I've already killed the Attack Wave. What happened? Something wrong? There's a thing. There we go. Nice. There's a thing that was borrowed. There's, there's like a creature. <laughs> it was or funny. That was pretty funny. Okay, there's still attack wave there. Wonder where that came from. Yeah, I will recall my army. All right, we'll we'll keep this locked in. Yeah, it should be uh, should be doable with Kerrigan and oh, what's over here? Hey, get out of here, stupid thing. There's a stupid uh, zergling attacking this thing. Yeah, there. Yeah, get out of there. It's a stupid, stupid over there, right? Yeah, it's a stupid, stupid thing. Absolutely. Now, uh, do you have another Omega Orb ready? Uh, yes, I do. All right, my Phoenix is on the way. We should be able to capture the last lock shortly and uh, kick W at this mutation, because <laughs> we're on the way to capture the last lock. Okay. Oh. <laughs> kick W. Kick w. It just was barely not available. That's fine. I can just make another round of units. And we are just fine. We are A-OK. -okay. okay. Okay. Alright. Oh, that was actually pretty good jamming. Yeah. Of course it is. Of course it is. What do you think I am? Some sort of bad timing person thingy? No. I'm a good timing person thingy. All right, we'll That's capture really the slot. Like, I mean, like a mutation run, in, like ten and a half minutes. Yeah, I actually had them run with Panisher, that lasted for like right around the same time. Actually, right, right around this time, I already completed the map, but that's fine. It's fine. It's really could good. could be worse. Could be a lot worse. All things considered. Mm -hmm. Also, like what mutation? <laughs> this is like a regular yeah, like brutal run. Mutation. What mutation? GG. Good job. Wait. I think you had. Do you think you had twice my kills? How strong is Kerrigan? 
Do you think he had twice my kills? Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah, you cleared that soft lock all on your own. And like... Well, we had 50-50 on the north and the east lock. Yeah, look at that. Well, not quite double my kills, but that's pretty good. Yeah. Pretty you know, good. Akundalar is also like... Akundalar is an amazing prestige. It is. Like, even though I'm level 6... <laughs> <laughs> Even though I'm level 6, it was actually uh, pretty close. It's pretty good, well, yeah. that's a good thing about it, right? Because like at level 1, you're missing your... I think I think you miss your Cyber Sarbiter, but once you hit level 2, you have everything that Pretty you much need. everything, yeah. The, what I did was I prestige tricked Phoenix on the Asia server, I think, on the Christmas mutation. And uh, now we can actually... Yeah, I now I have it at level 6, so I just jumped 6 levels. That's pretty awesome. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> this should be pretty doable with Phoenix P1. You can, as long as you have two fast commanders. I already did it with P3 Zagara and uh, uh, P2 Tychus. So other commanders you can do it are probably Dehaka, P anything. Uh, Stet Boy P2, um, maybe Zeratul. Zeratul P2 or P3, P3 or P0, maybe P1. Um, who else would you say? Um, Alarak? Yeah, there, there are a few commanders that can actually get away with the links. I, I don't know if you mentioned Stepman, but one thing to note though is the Haka is really bad against Missile Command. So if you want to play the Haka, make sure you rush through the mission. Or just build more buildings. One, one way you can, deal, yeah. you can deal with Missile Command is just spread out the damage to make sure that uh, the missiles cannot hit, cannot burst down your one building because you have like 10 buildings, so the damage is uh, Am I hearing this right? split by 10. Am I hearing this right? Is CTG advocating for inhumanity towards structures? Well, they're, it's little, they're literally buildings, so they're, you cannot be inhuman against buildings. Does that make sense? <laughs> Alright. I will see you guys next time, and I will link our massive channel down below. If I forget, do remind me, because I'm a very busy man, and... Uh, I usually don't have time to edit stuff, so yeah, do remind me if I forget. I'll see you next time.